Hey lovelies, welcome to Blenny and Lords. Today I'll be teaching you how to sew this notch collar shirt and a pencil skirt. I'll be teaching you all the process. I'm so excited to show you the processes. So please, if you are new to my channel, you have not click on the subscribe button please do click on the subscribe button and give my videos a thumbs up and also drop your comment in the comment section please subscribe to my channel i drop new tutorials every week so do well to put on the notification bell to get alerted whenever i put on new tutorials so straight to the uh, sewing of this um, notch collar shirt so you're going to fold your fabric like i demonstrated in the video you're going to fold four inch in the way you fold the pattern four inch in because we are cutting the first uh, the front pattern now so you're going to fold four inch in um, four inch in so you're going to leave at the edge half half an inch so you can go ahead and fold four and half if you want to so but at this edge at this uh, edge here you're going to leave half inch so th that we add as um, ease for the button and the button hold you can see where my finger is that's where you're going to leave the half inch so you just go ahead and trace out cut out your um, fabric using your pattern so i've done that to my fabric now so i'm using a crepe fabric so you can see how it looks like at the other side. So I placed it on it, leaving a half inch at the um, at the edge there. So you do that to yours. So you can leave, you can you can make yours um, wider than that, but it depends on you. So um, it it is better you leave half an inch. Half an inch is better. So I I did this and I cut it. I cut two uh, two piece out of it for the front part of the shirt so you can go ahead and cut yours and please don't forget to notch the end where the four inch started do not forget to notch the end at the neckline and also at the end of the top so that will be for the top so uh, like i told you you have to notch there that's the place i want you to notch and this other place okay and don't forget your half inch at the midpoint all right so i went ahead also to cut the back piece you can see i've cut the back piece using the back pattern also to cut it so the next thing to do is to join the front and the back bodies together so we'll go ahead and do that so just go ahead and do that make sure you flip the four inches or four and a half inches that you uh, folded in flip it open do not join it with the shoulder line so flip it open as demonstrated in the video then you go ahead and sew at the shoulder so also you sew at the shoulder at the other side so after sewing i'm going to show you what next to do so i have done that I have sewn the shoulder so you can see that it's as if the, sh the front is shorter so what you are going to do is just to drag the front down so drag the front down by the time you drag it down you see that the arm the her armhole measurement is the same thing they are reaching each other at the same end so you're just going to drag the front one down to meet the edge of the back one so that i i, I ironed interfacing at my that at my extras are the four and uh, four point five inches so please do if you have interface if you have um paper stay gum stay you can add it on if you have canvas you can iron it on it so i'll just go ahead flip it down and hold it at the side so i'm going to go ahead and hold it at the side so you the allowances the same allowances that you use in cutting if you're just going to go ahead if it's one inch you go ahead and hold yours at the side with one inch so i've done i'm done with that you can see how beautiful it is and also i i forgot to tell you that you just have to iron at that folding where you folded the four inch in you're going to go ahead and give it a good press give it a good press so that it won't give you problem later so you'll be finding difficulty in in folding it so just go ahead and give it a good press like i did and i notched it at the up and at the bottom part of it so the next thing we're going to do is the, we're going to fix in the collar we want to draft the collar so that four inch 
you are just going to flip it fold it into one and a half inch you can see as demonstrated in the video if you do not understand please replay the video again for you to understand you can see how i'm folding mine so please do that to yours so you are just going to measure it watch carefully you're going to measure one inch one and a half inch from there so you are going to notch it at the extra folding you folded inside that is the four and a half inch or the four inch you folded inside so you can see just go ahead and measure it and let it be one and a half inches so you are going to notch it at the extras with at the four inch that you folded in so you just go ahead and notch it so you do the same at to the other side do the same to the other side also so i'm checking it to be very sure it is one and a half inches so we'll also do that to the other side in case you do not uh, understand the other parts that i just demonstrated you can go ahead and watch this part how i did this neckline you can see i hold it at extras and i fold it into two can you see so i'll go ahead and measure one and a half inch there So you can see, I'll just notch it at the one and a half inch there. So go ahead and notch yours. So the next thing to do, do now is to measure from the this this new notch that we just notched. You are going to fold it. And you're going to leave the fabric to fold back at that four inches. You're going to fold it in with that four inch or 4.5 inches so at that new notch that we just notched you are going to measure it to meet the other new notch that we notched at the other side so we're going to measure it so you can go ahead and measure yours so i've i've measured mine i've measured mine and mine is 16 inches so i'll go ahead and cut out what you what i found out on the neckline so whatever measurement you get got at the neckline you can go ahead and use that to cut your collar so i'm going to go ahead and cut my collar so uh, my collar i'll be using um gomse not the hardest one it's a little bit soft so it depends on how and uh, the hard you want your collar to look like so but it is good to use a very soft one so i'm using the soft one i just measured it two in two and a half inches by the neckline measurement which i measured is 16. so i'll just go ahead and iron it on my uh, fabric on the wrong side of my fabric leaving half inch you can see where i'm touching the half inch there so i'm going to fold the half inch i'm going to iron the half inch also folding it this way after ironing the gum stay on the fabric so i will do that so i'm through doing that and i have cut my collar out so i folded it in so i can go ahead and secure the fold with um your sewing machine so you fold your fabric this way then you sew it at the side you can see at the side to meet where you folded can you see then we are going to go ahead and measure one a half inch from that place we're going to cut out the excesses and leave one inch at the half place so you can see i have sewn it and i have turned it over leaving that one half inch at as the extras there that's what we're going to use to attach it to the neckline so you can design your color whichever uh, type of color you want to fix in whichever design maybe you want it to be slant at the edge you can do that can explore your creativity all right so we're going to go ahead and and fix the collar to the neckline so we're going to you know the the second um, the last notch that we notch so we are still working with that so we are just going to flip the um four inch to the right side of the dress of the shirt like i uh, like i did in the video so you are just going to fix in your collar can you see please watch closely so you're just going to fix it in and sew all through down 
to mix the other neckline. Make sure while sewing, attaching the collar, please hold the um, extra, the four inch that you flipped over. Make sure you sew it along with the collar. So we're just going to go ahead and sew that straight. So you just sew that extra half inch that you that we left at the collar. We're going to choose it to attach it to the neckline. So that will be that for now. So I have done that. I've attached my collar to the neckline. You can see, like I told you, you hold the extra inside the extra 4.5 is all or four inch that you folded you just have to add it this time around and sew it along with the collar so you can see our dress is already coming out so the next thing to do now you know we folded one uh, half inch inside in our collar that uh, i told you to iron and also you can also secure it with your sewing machine so it is that one that we're going to use to and conceal the rough edges. So you are just going to um, top stitch it, put fixing all the rough edges inside, and that will be all for the collar. So you flip your dress over at the wrong side of the shirt. You are just going to fold in that 4.5 inches you folded in. We just want to make the dress look neat. So conceal the rough edges at that place. You just have to put in your hemming gum. You fold it and you put in your hemming gum to secure it tight, to glue it to the fabric. So you also do that to the other side with hot iron. So you, you go ahead and fold the edges and that will be basically all for the shirt. So the next thing to do is to fix our sleeve. You cut out your regular sleeve. Cut out your regular sleeve. I iron that interfacing at the edge so that it will ease my folding. So you go ahead and fold yours. Two, uh, two inches concealing half inch inside and uh, sewing one and a half inch so you go ahead and do that after doing that you can go ahead and join your sleeve at the side and you know this shirt is not really the sleeve don't need to be very tight even the ample don't need to be tight it's a free shirt so you go ahead and do that to the second sleeve I have attached the sleeve to the armhole and our dress is basically done. So all you have to do is to iron your shirt and fix your buttons and your button holes on your shirt and your shirt is ready to be rocked with a, your pencil skirt or whatever you want to rock your shirt with. I would love to see your finished work so please I would love to see your finished work. Please drop it on my Instagram Blenny Allures. All right, so uh, for the skirt, sewing of the skirt, you're just going to join the back. You know, the back is two piece. So you're just going to join it with the allowances you left. So you can go ahead and sew yours. You can see I'm through. I'll join it with the allowances. So you can go ahead and um, leave your slit in case you want to put slit on your own. So I'm using stretchy fabric, so I don't need slit. But in case you want to put, you can also leave your eight inches as your slit from down upwards. So I'll just flip my cloth over and also add, I'm going to add a band. I'm going to add a waistband. So this is how we're going to add a waistband. Go ahead and turn your fabric to the wrong side. But your um your band is just going to be on the and uh, right side on the right side your band is going to be on the right side you can see right side facing your band will be on the right right side facing the wrong side of your fabric so you're going to go to a sewing machine and also sew it straight and i'll show you what next to do after sewing it straight down okay i'm through sewing it you can see i'm through sewing it the next thing to do now is to flip the band over you can see i want to flip the band over and i'll just go ahead and fold it in and top stitch it at the right side of the fabric so that's what i'm going to do so go ahead and do yours i'm going to also do it for my um, back and um, back part of the skirt so i'll go ahead and do that with my sewing machine 
So I'm through sewing that. I'm through sewing it. Through sewing it. And our skirt is coming out beautifully. You can see you can go ahead and give it a good press if you if there's electricity supply. There's power supply. Alright, so I did that to the front and the back part of the skirt. So I'm just going to use the right side facing the right side of each of the parts, front and back, right side facing right side. So I'll just go to my sewing machine. I'm going to um, sew it, join it at the side using my seam allowance. So whatever seam allowances you use, just go ahead and do that to join your skirts together at the side. I've joined mine and go ahead and fold at the bottom part if it's two inches, if it's 2.5 inch, just fold your skirt at the bottom side. And that will be basically all for our skirt. Our skirt is really beautiful. You can rock it with your top. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Please give this video a thumbs up. I drop tutorial every week on my channel. I drop as many as many videos I can. So see you next tutorial. Bye.